hello friends welcome back to my channel so today we are going to see another tutorial on Arduino and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to set up an Arduino traffic light project with a pedestrian crossing button okay so by watching this tutorial you will be able to create a complete circuit okay and write your own code for this Arduino pedestrian crossing traffic light project okay to give you uh, the more detail how it works if you see like you know uh, consider this as a road and you have a traffic light with red uh, orange and green light and you have a pedestrian button right where you can press uh, you know to control the traffic light okay and uh, you know you have the vehicles moving on the uh, road and you have pedestrians want to cross the road so what we do is we press the pedestrian button so the green light will change to orange then it will change to red right so it will give a duration uh, for a few seconds so the pedestrians can cross to the next uh, slide uh, next side and then uh, you know uh, the traffic light will get changed to green okay so that's how the complete setup would be okay so before we get into that i would uh, request you to subscribe to my channel kindly like the video share and comment and also check out my previous tutorial on with arduino like with pr sensor push buttons like ultrasonic sensor so you can check all those videos uh, for uh, getting more details about those projects so to, to get started yeah, i'm using tinkercad here okay so i have a tinkercad uh, project created so if you are new to tinkercad please uh, go to the web page you create uh, your account and you you know you'll be able to start creating this simulation project okay so first we need to add uh, the arduino board so i'll add uh, the arduino you know board okay and uh, i will also add a breadboard so that you know we can add uh, some of the connections to the leds and uh, push button okay so let me just uh, arrange it a little bit okay and since we are using a traffic light we need uh, three uh, leds okay so i will uh, have three leds okay and the first one i'll keep it red the second one i will keep it orange okay and third one as uh, green okay okay so we have three leds and uh, we also need a push button right so this will be acting as a button uh, for the pedestrians to press so that the light or traffic light will be controlled right so the button is pressed the light should change from green to orange and then to red so that the people can cross over the road and then it can change the green okay so let's do the connection for uh, these uh, devices we connect okay so first thing I want to do is I will uh, use the 5 volt okay, and set that ready so we have uh, the 5 volt connected here so we can make use of to power on some of the devices right and I will also connect the ground okay let me use the resistors here okay so i will use the resistor so this is the cathode and this is the anode okay so i'll be using 220 ohm resistor this will go to the ground okay Similar, I'm connecting for other LEDs as well. Okay, so we have uh, the all ground connected. So now what we need is we need to connect the cathode or uh, sorry not cathode anode of the leds to the uh, pin from the arduino to control it so i'm going to use uh, the pin number 10 for the red okay so keep it as red okay 
I'm going to use the pin number 9 for orange okay. okay and I'm going to use the pin number 8 for green okay so we have the LEDs connected okay so 8 9 10 these three pins I'm using for controlling the LEDs okay and uh, for the push button uh, one side should go to the power okay the other side I should uh, connect it to the ground okay and I'm going to make a connection from there to the pin where I want to control the push button okay I'm going to use the pin number seven for that okay okay so we are done with the connection okay so this is how the connection look like so you can see the three LEDs uh, is connected and also the push button okay and um, uh, we have the ground and 5 volts from uh, Arduino which is powering to the push button okay now let's try to write the code okay so the first part is I want to set the pin numbers for the LEDs and the push uh, button okay so it's not mandatory you can directly write like the pin mode uh, 10 as output pin mode 11, 9 as output 8 as output and 7 as input but i would prefer you know i would set this uh, as a variable first okay so i'm going to declare the leds first okay so int i'm going to call red led it's uh, pin number 10 right okay then int orange lady will be 9 and uh, int green lady will be 8 okay next one is uh, declare the push button pin okay that should be int push button equal to seven okay so i missed the semicolon or a after the pin eight okay so that's semicolon has to be there and i'm also going to uh, put another variable which is int uh, read push uh, button okay because i'm going to set it to zero now okay because i want to use this uh, variable to read the values when we press the push button okay now i'm going to uh, set the pins so red leds out as output so i should also set three more okay so the orange led also as output and uh, this one also as output okay and uh, next would be the push button has to be an input okay so i will put it as input because we are going to read the values from the push button okay and uh, i also want to make sure that uh, when we start all these leds uh, will be turned off uh, at least you know the power should not be high there so then we can control it so sometimes you know if the pin is giving a high value the LED is red or orange something would be in a, a turned on state so I don't want that so I will just uh, keep the LEDs as uh, low okay so we'll just write these LEDs as low Okay, so just to make sure those pins are low when we start okay later we'll control in the wide loop uh, what uh, state we need to set okay okay 
this step may not be required all the time but i have seen uh, some cases you know uh, by default some of the LS devices which we connect to some pins are getting high volumes uh, high voltage okay so that's why i'm uh, setting this as low i also want to use the serial monitor to give some output okay it should be like a capital s and small b okay. sorry about that it should be serial begin uh, 9600 which is the port okay now let's get to the wide loop section okay so i'll just remove this part okay so the first part should be like you know when we press the button uh, we should read right so we should uh, uh, read the value from it so i'm going to uh, put a uh, int the where is our yep we are going to use read push button okay so read push button equal digital read okay we are going to read the button push button seven we are going to read it okay so we have some value uh, saved into this uh, variable right read push button so it can be based on uh, whether we push the uh, you know, the button uh, here so practically this is a pedestrian button where somebody will press uh, in the road that i'm uh, waiting here so that uh, the signal has to be changed okay so it can be one or zero here since it's a digital read so what we're going to do is we're going to use a if uh, loop here so if so the value for a uh, read push button we have to check that okay so equal equal to zero so it can get two values right it can be high or low so let's consider as first low so if the, nobody has pressed the push button then uh, the green led should be on so that the vehicles can travel right so a vehicle can go when the green light is on so what we need to do is digital right and we need to put the uh, green LED as high okay and uh, rest of other LEDs should be low okay so we need to put orange LED as low and also red led as low okay so now comes the else part okay else if so we are going to put if it's one and i'll copy this uh, whole set and I'll put it here so what I want is if somebody has pressed the push button so the green light should change to orange first right so you see like first green will change orange then it should uh, go to red right so first I will uh, change uh, green to low and orange to high okay so what it has happened is when somebody pressed the uh, uh push button or pedestrian button the green will change to orange but i don't want to keep it in orange right so i will keep it for probably two seconds or something you can uh, define your time how long you want to have uh, you know the light in orange then it has to change to red right so that people can cross the road so i will change uh, orange to low and red to high okay and i will keep uh uh, this for uh, probably five seconds okay so uh, again it depends upon the time you want to give people to cross the road okay so depending upon that you can do it and uh, what i also want to do is i also want to uh, push uh, put some entries in the serial monitor like you know when somebody has pressed the uh, no, uh, the button it has to tell like there is a pedestrian crossing okay so what I want to do is I want to put here so once it's uh, changed orange I want to 
procedural dot print ln okay and I want to mention is uh, pedestrian waiting okay because uh, they are not crossing it yet because it's just uh, orange right and I want to use the same thing here and uh, once it's changed to red I want to put pedestrian crossing okay so let's see what it happens so I think we are done with the code so we are using 8 9 10 and the pin number 7 for push button okay and we have also set all the modes output input right and we are using serial begin to print the output on the serial monitor right we are reading the push button state then we are defining uh, based on that okay so first it should go i think it's high here okay no okay let me run the simulation and see what the output is okay okay so loop expected before delay okay okay the problem looks like we don't have a semicolon here which i missed after print seal okay i'll close it let me start the simulation again okay something is wrong it's just automatically going let me see okay okay I think I have found the problem if you see you know I have connected the resistor to the power so if you see both the pins uh, are going to the 5 volts so it should be you know going to the uh, ground so this should go to ground and only this pin should go to the power I think that's why it was giving always a uh, high output for the push button okay so that's why this section was keep looping uh, when we done the simulation okay now let me start the simulation again now if you see uh, we are starting with green right so currently the light is green so let's consider somebody is uh, crossing the road or want to cross the road they will press the button okay so now you see it's changed orange okay and to then it red right so let me open the serial monitor as well okay so it's again came back to green now so let me press the push button again now you see it's uh, telling pedestrian waiting then it's going to pedestrian crossing right so you can see it's changing uh, the signal as we want so first it change orange then to red okay so I think we are done with this project so it's a simple uh, project uh, I'm hoping you know this will be helpful for a lot of uh, students who want to do their project uh, for schools or their studies okay so uh, definitely I'm hoping this will be helpful okay I will share the complete uh, details uh, of the code in the, my github okay and I will link it to the video description so we are done with this project so as i showed like you know the, when the road somebody wants to cross with the pedestrian uh, they can just put, press the button so it will change the light from green to orange then orange to red right and you can define the leds as you want okay the duration everything you can define it in the code so i hope uh, this tutorial is informative for you and uh, i thank you for watching so before i and, you know uh, close this uh, tutorial i would request you to subscribe to my channel like this video share and comment